Hello, welcome to the Carers London Colney Training Centre. My name's David Ischek, I'm a technical trainer. I'm standing in front of our Bacara Synergy Combination Boiler. In this short video, I'll introduce you to the display and the button functions of this boiler. The boiler display will go to sleep after approximately 30 or 40 seconds of not being used. So the first thing we must do is wake up the display. That's done by pressing any button once. The three buttons on the bottom row are, from left to right, Mode, Reset, Information. Use the Mode button on the left to scroll between Standby, Hot Water Only, Hot Water and Heating, back to Standby. In Standby, the boiler can fire, but only if there's a danger of it freezing. It will protect itself against a cold weather. The centre button is the reset button. Should there be an alarm on the boiler, there will be an indication in the display. A single press on the reset button should restart the boiler. If several presses are necessary and the boiler doesn't stay alight, then a call to our customer services may be necessary. The right hand button is for information. Pressing once will bring up information. There will be text to tell you what that information is. On this one it's saying it's a central heating probe, the temperature of the water, leaving the boiler for the central heating. You can scroll between information by using buttons C and D on the right. Select the information you need. This is the outside temperature probe. If this boiler had an external sensor, it would tell us now the external temperature. But there are many pieces of information we can bring up. If you select the one you need, let's select another 18. Press to enter, it's telling me there's 1.4 bar pressure in the boiler. Press V to exit and we can move to another piece of information. 19, domestic hot water hours, how many hours the boiler's been running supplying domestic hot water. Press A to go in. This boiler's a new boiler so it hasn't done any hours supplying hot water. Press B to come out. When you've interrogated information, to return to the main screen, a single press on button B will bring us back to the main display. We can use the information button for another purpose. It can take us into setting some user parameters. For information, a brief press is all that's necessary. But if we want to go into parameters, we need to press and hold two seconds. P1 appears. Parameter set one, or as the boiler is telling us, settings. Press button A to enter and we can scroll through some settings. We can choose language. I believe there are 12 languages we can choose from. Using buttons C and D we can scroll through some other settings. We can set the time of day. The units, so we can choose metric or imperial units. We can select scrolling text, which is actually by default uh, enabled on this boiler. And we can select the buzzer, an audible signal to notify you when a button actually has been successfully pressed. To change any of the settings, press A to enter. Change the setting to whatever you want, enable it or disable it. Press enter to lock that new setting. Press B repeatedly to return to the main screen. 
There is an embedded central heating system timer. It will switch your central heating system on and off as you wish. We will cover setting that timer in a separate video. The Synergy has a separate function called Biberon or bottle feeder function. Its intention is the user can lock the domestic hot water delivery temperature in case there's a child we want to restrict the temperature to one that is safe for a child or possibly an infirm person. I will set that now. In general use, to adjust the domestic hot water temperature, use buttons A or B. It is possible to lock a desired domestic hot water temperature so unauthorised adjustment can't make the hot water too hot uh, and raise it to a dangerous level. To lock the domestic hot water temperature, select a temperature you wish, then press buttons A and B simultaneously until domestic hot water lock appears in the display. You can't adjust domestic hot water temperature anymore until you unlock the display. To do that, bring the temperature to the front of the screen, bring lock to the front of the screen and then press both buttons A and B simultaneously. And now we can adjust the hot water temperature again. Buttons A and B will adjust domestic hot water temperature. Button C and D will adjust the central heating temperature. It's possible to lock the display to prevent unauthorized access. To lock the display, so you're locking these buttons, Press and hold the two outer buttons until lock appears in the display. That's handy because if someone wants to clean the boiler with a soft rag or whatever, it means if you lock the display first, you're not going to adjust the settings on the boiler. To unlock, ring lock to the display and press both buttons simultaneously and now the display is unlocked. To select one of the comfort settings, press and hold buttons A and B simultaneously, but make sure there's no domestic hot water temperature in the display. So press simultaneously, comfort off. Use button C to move to comfort standard. Comfort standard the boiler will fire for approximately three to six seconds every 30 minutes, keep itself warm so that there's less delay getting hot water to the tap. If you want comfort standard, confirm with a press on button A. Use button C to move to comfort smart. What that enables is the boiler will preheat to reduce the time it takes to get hot water to the tap, but will only preheat if you open and close any hot tap briefly for a few moments before you actually need the uh, hot water. Preheat will work for one hot water cycle and then stop. So you'll need to briefly blip open and close the hot tap. Each time you use hot water, the boiler will preheat for one cycle. Lastly, I'll press on C will bring up Comfort Superior. This um, setting means the boiler, if it's in heating mode as well as hot water mode, after every heating cycle supplying water to the radiators or underfloor heating, the boiler will check its internal temperature and the temperature of the domestic hot water plate heat exchanger. If it falls within certain criteria, it will use the heat that is already in the system to put that into the hot water section. Rather than let the boiler get cold, it will pre-warms the hot water section with heat that's already in the system. When you've set the option you wish, a press on button A will lock that in place. To return to the main screen, either wait or you can use button B to return to the main display. If CFS appears in the display, that's a reminder set into the boiler 
that your boiler needs a service after one year's use. This is necessary to keep the warranty intact. I hope this information has been useful. Thank you very much.